Flave City family, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you from South Florida. The sun is going right in my eye because it's getting late in the day. The sun is actually going down right behind the most magnificent building in the world, Costco. But you know what, Brad? It's always sunny in Costco, and it just so happens we need to do a weekly Costco run. Things are getting low at home. We're gonna go into Costco and do a What I Buy at Costco February midweek edition, right? We do so many Costco editions. Uh, show you what to buy, show, what to, show you what to avoid, and why. Hi, how are you? Welcome to Pompano. Thank you, see, welcome to Pompano. They're so nice here. Um, Pompano Costco is the bomb. Uh, let's go in there and do our thing, my friends. Uh, before we do, like, subscribe, share. Wow, that's a really beautiful backdrop there. This is this is the place you want to be, not Disney up north. Uh, the only way this channel keeps growing is by you spreading that Flav City love. Also, I do want you to check out ThriveMarket.com using my promo link down below. You've probably heard a lot about Thrive Market. They are legit. They've sponsored my channel for six years, and everything you would get normally at any grocery store is on Thrive Market, usually for cheaper, and the box comes to your door. You actually save about $32 per order compared to going to the store. And they have this app, and on the app, there's a price scanner. Hey, buddy. Um, you can scan any barcode at the grocery store, and it shows you if it's cheaper on Thrive Market, which it usually is. And right now, Flav City fans are getting the hookup, and they're loving it. When you click my link down below, you get 25% off your entire first order at Thrive Market and a free gift up to $31 and it's 30 days risk-free just in case you don't love Thrive but I think you will so check them out less talking more shopping the sun's going down and we're going into Casco incredible flash sale so incredible he's taking a picture for Maddie his girlfriend to send home we were honestly talking on the way here Nutso has never ever repeat never ever been on sale it's not on the website right now it might be a regional thing, but for $3 off, we're honestly breaking the equipment here at Costco. The lights are flickering like uh, that movie, uh, If You Build It, They Will Come or whatever, because this is such an amazing price. Nutso is one of the best nut butters on the market. And if you watch the video from earlier in the week from uh, BJ's, they have this, their version of this, but it's not as good because this also has Brazil nuts. It has flax seeds and they're using Celtic sea salt, the most amazing unrefined salt ever. Even the non-sale price, right, Brad, is like half oh, the price unreal. of Whole Foods, but with $3 off, load up. Put Get this in 10. the cart. Get all 10. Get all 10. Get all 10. Brad's <laughs> taking some home for his girlfriend right now. We also, that whole pallet's Brad's. I also put this in Brad's card too. We're sending this home for his girlfriend who's a big baker. Remember in Miami a few weeks ago, um, they have the vanilla bean uh, organic maple syrup and it's not yet discontinued, which the star means it will be soon. So Maddie, Brad's girlfriend, you're getting a bottle of top shelf. You're getting all the nuts so there. It's going to be amazing. And I got a lot of questions about this Manuka honey brand we have here in the south. It's a different one in Chicago. It's Comvita. This is Manuka Health. I cannot find anywhere on the packaging or on their website if it's a monofloral. Monofloral means the bees only feed on the Manuka bush, which is really preferable. The price is basically the same as the Chicago one. I'm going to DM them right now. Hopefully they get back to me before the video comes out. If it is monofloral, not multifloral, then yes, it's a Bobby approved because that price is insane in the membrane. Oh, yes. You know what? Most people might not be as excited as me to see canned tomatoes here. But Brad, back in Chicago, they don't have the San Marzano Italian tomatoes anymore and they got them down here. The cool thing about San Marzano Italian tomatoes versus diced tomatoes or canned tomatoes from California, these are exquisitely flavored. And another cool thing is, this is a three pack of 28 ounce cans. When they did have it back in Chicago, it was a ginormous 108 ounce can, which is not ideal because you have to use it all pretty quick. That's three cans, oh my gosh, 529. Go to any grocery store a 28 ounce can of San Marzano tomatoes are about $4. Amazing deal. What makes these so good? Look right here what it says here. From Nina. They're from the region of San Marzano, Italy in Naples. Very, very important because what happened in Naples, Italy many thousands of years ago? <clears throat> Mount Vesuvius blew up. Hot ash in the air everywhere. People dying. It was terrible. Like, ah, oh, it's terrible, right? But out of tragedy, comes something good. What happened? That volcanic ash enriched the soil all around that area and it really made the vegetables and produce great, specifically the tomato, the San Marzano, right? The tomato. These are fantastic. Now, they're not 
they're not actually certified like DOP style tomatoes. You're down with DOP, yeah, you know me. But they're really, really good and far superior to California tomatoes. Get this. At that price, oh, forget about it. Uh, Baba Donnie, my mother-in-law, made a uh, green bean stew the other day with those uh, tomatoes and a cabbage stew, very Bulgarian dishes. They were so darn good. Uh, once again, we go by the wall of vitamin C's and immune boosting stuff. Immune boosting is like the trendiest thing right now. And even though our immune tea came on the market about four months ago, we were planning it for a year. Um, a lot of this stuff will have natural flavors, ascorbic acid from the vitamin C, which I keep preaching is not bioavailable. Um, check out, if you're interested, the Flav City Immunity Tea. I'll put the link down below. We've been sold out for a long time. We just got a big shipment in. Uh, it's my best in class immune boosting tea recipe from the blog turned into a powdered shelf stable version made with uh, organic turmeric, ginger, lemon, cayenne pepper, black pepper, and monk fruit. It's absolutely delicious and it's really good at immunity boosting and uh, anti-inflammatory. Link down below and we're working on our second product right now coming out this summer, a strawberry keto lemonade that is best in class keto and diabetic friendly. It's going to be amazing and ingredients will be so much better than the stuff on the market right now. Wow, not one, but two keto breads at this Costco? Are you kidding me? Uh, unfortunately, the bad news is both are not Bobby approved. Uh, so this is Sola bread. I actually get a lot of DMs about this. It's two net carb bread. Net carb, zero net carb, or any kind of net carb bread really has to be done right. This one is schwitzing here. It's so hot in Florida today. So here's the ingredients, and this is why this one's not Bobby approved. I don't like when keto breads have wheat and wheat gluten and then a ton of fiber to back it out. I think keto should be grain free. So they do that here, but Dios mio papi, I've never seen this oil in a food before, maybe once before. Olive pumice oil. Brad, you ever heard of olive pumice oil? Olive pumice, is that, was that the, what they were using in the uh, Panera? That was the other time. Yeah. The Panera bread uh, uh, Fiji apple uh, dressing, dude. Olive pumice oil is like olive oil that's been so processed and refined that it's only used as motor oil in the country of Italy. Holy cow. And then we got GMO soy flour, monoglyceride. So no, this is not the way you do keto. Dang, that oil is really tragic. And then they have this keto culture white bread. It's super soft, like a pillow here, like a Wonder Bread or something. And while they don't have motor oil in here, they do have GMO soybean oil with gluten and then a ton of fiber. Oh my God, fully hydrogenated soybean oil. That stuff is horrible for you. It's not even partially, it's fully hydrogenated. So don't do that guys, I keep saying it. And it'd be a dream if they had it at a Costco, but base culture and unbun are the two best keto breads, by far the more expensive than these, but don't go keto and eat those breads if you're gonna have those horrible ingredients going in your body. That is not clean keto. That's dirty keto, diesel, engine, horrible stuff going out of your body. Yes, I am running low with avocado oil at home. And this is one of the holy grails of avocado oil in South Florida and in the South. Chosen Foods is the avocado oil they have. And that price, I'm telling you, for a liter bottle, limit one, man, that's harsh, uh, for $10.79 is half price for most grocery stores. Chosen is one of the best brands. This one, Marianne's and Primal Kitchen. But I really think Primal Kitchen and Chosen Foods are the best. We have videos about avocado and olive oil. There's so much fakery, right? Fugazi, forget about it. Fake avocado oil and olive oil out there. I'm talking about fake, meaning rancid or cut with other oils. Uh, if you watch my Sam's Club video or my BJ's video from the other week, their avocado oil comes from USA, Mexico, or Spain. When you start bringing in Spanish uh, avocado oil or avocados, you kind of get rife with the opportunity for fraud or fake avocado oil. These guys produce it in Mexico and it comes straight to SoCal. Best deal ever. This is great. So I'm going to put that in my cart. Here, Brad, dump that in there, my friend. Thank, Thank you. So but right next to it, speaking of fagazies, this is one of the biggest shams on the market. Shruffle oil, right? Tartufo. Great price. That's oh, being discontinued. How funny is that? In my opinion, never buy truffle oil because see the ingredient here, olive oil, white truffle oil, white truffles, and then truffle flavor. You're basically not getting any truffles. You're getting all truffle natural flavors, which is not truffles. And you don't know the quality of the oil. It's not going to be premium extra virgin olive oil. No, 
this, the whole thing when it comes to olive oil is fugazi, and I'm actually not sad to see that gone here. And I've talked about it before, but I have to do a refresher. If you want an amazing single estate, California olive oil. Oh my God, this stuff here. The Sacramento Valley 2019 Kirkland bottle. Oh no, discontinued. No. Oh, run, don't walk. 969. This is equivalent to like um, California olive estate. Or what's that? California. Yeah, California olive estate. It's just half the price. This is amazing because just like avocado oil, you have to know exactly where it comes from. Single origin California, as legit as they get. Wow, hurry up and get it. Another cool thing about being in South Florida is my favorite naturally fermented organic sauerkraut is not a seasonal item. It's always here and that price is literally insane. I'll probably get two of these because this is a fantastic gut-friendly food. You'll notice it's sauerkraut. But unlike most sauerkraut that have uh, vinegar, this doesn't have any vinegar. So it's a natural fermentation. It takes longer and it's slightly more expensive, but in that brine is um, gut-friendly bacteria. It says probiotics, right? But I'm learning a lot more about probiotics and I'm taking amazing probiotic prebiotic now by a company called Seed. These are not the same kind of probiotics you would take in your mouth. They're just very gut-friendly bacteria. And in Chicago, it's a seasonal item. So y'all gotta wait till summertime. But Brad and I, Brad, come here. We were at Sprouts the other day filming that video. And a tiny, I mean, tiny, tiny, tiny little jar of this was like five or six bucks, right? They asked pretty much for my wallet. Yeah, they asked for Brad's wallet. He, he pretty much went broke at Sprouts. So get this, if you have it at your, um, at your location, the thing is, you cannot warm this up. A lot of people ask me, how do you cook with it? You don't cook with it because you kill the bacteria on here. Just put some like primal kitchen dressing on top of there and eat it as a salad. I have it on the side with my keto turkey sandwich with the cauliflower thins, fantastic. And the price, even more fantastic. All right, Brad's gonna close off the section here so we get some privacy. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> uh, here's a uh, product I've never seen at a Costco before. Look at this, it's pure organic matcha green tea powder. This is pure man, Escobar style here. This is the real deal. And this is very cool because green tea powder matcha green tea powder has so many more antioxidants than regular green tea and this is actually a fantastic price this stuff is not cheap um, if you want even more top quality you would get ceremonial grade but that stuff is really expensive that's a great price organic is also a must for green tea because it can be sprayed with pesticides in certain part of asia but this is from kyoto and they don't do that there um, good for baking good for drinking it's got a very strong flavor so it's either you like it or you don't but this stuff is great um, and then i see it here um, it's funny, the monk fruit sweetener here from Lacanto, which is keto diabetic friendly, is golden. I love gold, right? It's not like um, brown sugar though. It's just golden uh, color. The flavor is gonna be the same as the regular one. And the kicker is it's a one-to-one -one sugar replacement for keto diabetic. If you want a brown sugar sub for recipes uh, that is uh, keto diabetic friendly, Go on Amazon, it's uh, Sucrin, Sucrin brown sugar. It's soft and packable and really, really tastes like brown sugar and it's totally keto. Uh, really good stuff up at the Amazon link down below. It's tough to find. All right, Flav City family, that is it. Brad and I just crushed the what we buy at Costco this week. Got a lot of good stuff there. Picked up the spin drift, where is it? There we go, picked up the spin drift for the hot weather we're having right now. The other day, Brad was like, it feels like 90 degrees in Pompano Beach. And back in Chicago, it felt like negative 11. It's a 101 degree difference, which is inhumane. But I mean, I'm glad I moved, that's all I can say. Um, but that's it. We'll be back at Costco very soon because this is my second home. I love it here, it is the best. Uh, if you wanna see other grocery stores, leave a comment down below. But spread the love about Flav City. The more the community grows, the more we can help people put best in class ingredients in their body. Uh, but for Brad and for the whole gang, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace from Costco.